What is up guys? This is I Apple Helper with some more videos for you guys. I'm sorry it's been a long time since I've uploaded another video for you guys, but this video is going to be uh an application for the Mac uh Book Pro here. And uh I really want to see what you guys think of this application and it's called iAlert You. So, you can go into your Google Chrome browser and as you can see I already have it opened up. Now what this does is basically if you leave the lid of your computer open but you don't want anybody to go messing around on it without your permission, this is a great application. It will alert you by um, any time your computer is touched. Really there's going to be a ton of settings I'll go over but any time uh, the things you'll see in settings are triggered, uh, automatically the computer will make a noise, it'll flash a screen and take a picture of the person doing it. So without any further delays, let's get started. So go on to subsonic.com and type in I alert you. It looks a lot like this as you can see right here. This is I alert you. It's a great application uh, and I think it's worthwhile having but um, you also might want to try it if you don't think it's worthwhile. Go ahead and try it. So this is what it looks like. You'll have it downloaded. Go ahead and find it under Finder and Downloads right here, and it'll look a lot like this. Now I already have it downloaded and ready for use, so let's get started on the use part. So you're going to have a little logo. You'll, you'll see it pretty much because it'll be one of the new looking things on your status bar. So what you want to do first is go to Preferences. Now, as you can see right here, you got a lot of settings, and we're going to start on the alarm section. So one of the things is you want to make sure all of the triggers here are checked, and I'll go over it with you. Motion sensor, keyboard, screen close, devices, AC adapter, trackpad, and or mouse. So what this basically means that uh, the motion center is basically anybody coming up too close to your computer automatically... Um, the alarm goes off. I'm actually going to uncheck it because I don't want that. Um, actually, I'll just keep it on. Anyway, so it basically uh, senses any motion near the computer. So as you can see, our next setting here is alarm duration. Now on here, I have it set for 10 seconds, but you can have it for as long as you'd like. But the max is two minutes. And you probably want this box checked, which is sound alarm until motion stops. Now, of course, the last setting under this alarm section is motion sensitivity. As you can see, mine is pretty high, so that means it will uh, go off anytime there's any motion, really. Um, I suggest you don't put it on the way high, otherwise it's going to just, it, it'll go crazy it'll feel like anything move so it's not worth having it here it's actually can get pretty sensitive I have it here and it's pretty good now as far as for the camera so one thing is if you wanna see the person that tried to mess around with your computer go ahead and check the box that says use eyesight image capture so that will basically if you have a camera on your computer that will be triggered and it will be used for capturing anybody who's trying to mess around with your computer without your permission. Now I also have capture screenshots and what that basically does is, let me show you. So you're going to go here. So the, as you can see this is my screen right here. Now it will capture the entire screen anytime the alarm is triggered. So let's go back into settings. And here we are. So you can have this checked or not, your choice. As you can see, I have mine as a photo, not a screenshot, but a photo. Um, as you can see, you, I have mine are deleted because, well, I don't want you to see a picture of me right now. Anyway, you can also have a snapshot path. As you can see, my photos go into desktop, and in the desktop, there's a folder called alarm. To do this, all you have to do is press that thing and then this window comes up and you can go create a folder or as you can see up mine's created and you just use that one alright now for some general um, now for here you do want to hit enable arm from from menu mm -hmm. 
so which means it's up here oops uh, you also want to have a password as you can see if I try to arm my system right now it requires a password so um, in addition to this uh, you don't need to allow dis or dis or sorry arming or disarming with remote but you do want to hit require password so your little brother doesn't uh, take advantage of you by uh, arming the system and you don't know the password or whatever it is so um, now under the logo area as you can see I use logo for lock screen I definitely have it on because that will be an automatic warning that says I alert you which probably means something like a security system uh, now if you want this logo to go away from the lock screen go ahead and check this and uh, as defaults after 10 seconds now I also have flash screen on the alarm that's just for giggles as well as terrifying the hell out of your enemy or whoever it is now as you can see um, I have a default logo and it's the I alert you large but you can do a custom logo if you like now let's go on to sound now this is probably the most important setting because you probably don't want this checked all the, this one because this basically means force m maximum alarm volume that would be really really loud and you probably don't need it extremely loud unless if you're in public and you're that concerned mm -hmm. but if you're in public you probably wouldn't be bringing your laptop in the first place so you definitely do want to use use arm sound and the disarm sound and these are more or less for giggles um, speak when alarm is sounding this is also a giggle uh, mine says I alert alert you're not supposed to be on here without my permission and just go ahead and make these default but you can play around with the rest of the sounds now as for startup as you can see mine is all, allow automatic arming so that means anytime my computer is shut off and it is turned back on so if it really did get stolen um, it would be automatically uh, armed so uh, you, you can choose on these settings right here. This is start I alert you, sorry, I alert you at login. I don't want that, but um, you can check it if you want. Uh, check for updates, that's up to your own preference. But this is probably important as well automatically arm when lid is closed. So that means anytime the user, if you put your thing to sleep, and then someone tried to open the lid of the computer automatically be armed and the sound will go off and it'll take a picture of your burglar or intruder. Um, now disable idle sleep when armed, that's up to your choice as well. Now as for email, there's not really much to do here. I don't have any of this enabled. I just simply don't want to be emailed because then I'd have like a million emails on this. Now as far as for advanced, there's not many settings here. These are for more for the advanced settings for the advanced users. Um, and go ahead, check them out, guys. But um, I'll just tell you one of them, airport. So this means basically if you have this checked and you have a hit collect potential triggering devices, it'll basically mean any time the Wi-Fi connection changes, the alarm system will go on and it'll be armed, but that'll be really annoying if you're at a friend's house and all of a sudden the alarm went off. So that is all there is for the settings. Now let's go ahead and activate the alarm. I'm going to have to turn the volume down because uh, it is it could be extremely loud now as I have my thing halfway and that is really loud. So we'll have it about one to two ticks and I'll show you how it all works. Now, it w because it's not full in extreme sensitivity, the motion sensor part won't work as well. But I'll show you that if I move my computer, unplug my iPhone that is connected to my computer, or the uh, cord that is used to charging my computer right now, any of those being touched around me, if someone pulled it, the alarm will go off. As well as the trackpad, meaning anytime you touch it and try to move the mouse or click on it or click on any of the keyboards, automatically the alarm goes off. Now, I'm not going to do it all, but I'll definitely show you. 
So you go over here and now you'll hit ARM system. Now you put in your password and this is what you'll hear for mine. I'll just put it right here. One, two, three. As you can see guys, it says protected by I alert you. Now I will show you one of the sounds when it will make it and I'll uh, turn it off immediately as to not annoy you. So before I start, please lower the volume on your computer if you have a full blasted on or you have it on your uh, telephone and it's really loud, please turn it down so it's not too loud for you guys. And uh, yeah, here we go. Now this is me touching the keyboard. As you can see after 10 seconds and I'm not doing anything, the alarm does go off and it'll go back to this screen. Now, I'm going to simply unplug my iPhone from the computer and watch what happens. And now I'll turn it off immediately just so it's not as annoying. One, two, three. Now in order to turn the, uh, the thing off, you have to automatically just type in your password. So whatever your password is, just automatically hit the keys on the keyboard that are the letters or numbers for your password. And that is your, the way you disarm your system. Now, if you, and that will only work if you're the one that knows the password. And uh, anybody else who tries to do it, it will it, automatically uh, just it will go off and off forever and ever. So once again guys, all you have to do is if you're in the, uh, you know, I don't know, it's your house, you have a lot of siblings, all you do is you put this thing on, you put on full blast as to like scare the shit out of your enemy and uh, it'll go blasting and the only way to turn it off is by either stay going away from the computer or not touching anything for 10 seconds or have the person that knows the password type it in real quick so make a short password now one warning guys if you excessively touch the keyboard or move the computer excessively the alarm will go on for how many times so if you move your computer three times regardless of its speed that means 10 seconds times three and that's the whole duration of the alarm so 30 seconds that's a long ass time excuse me, for an alarm to go off. So the more you move it, the longer it goes on. So keep that in mind every time uh, your sibling messes around with it. So you, if it is at night, guys, and you have your computer somewhere else and you don't want it to be used or something, but just, I mean, you don't have to put it full volume. That would be really annoying. And then the last thing you need is your parents to come in and blow your computer up. Um, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this application. Go ahead, check it out, guys. Tell me what you think of it. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and give me some feedback, guys, and I hope you have a great weekend. See you next time.